have a major warning coming from law enforcement. And then we also have a major warning coming from the FBI. All right, both national security warnings and both things that affect us locally as well. This is affecting us at the police local level as well. And our country is being affected. So listen to this sheriff here, this new plan that has been announced for millions of people. All right, this is what they're dealing with right now in our country millions of people and these are supposed to be some of the nicest places in our country and they are being devastated so listen to this sheriff here from the lapd and then we will get to this warning from the fbi as well giving a emergency warning check this out we have a significant increase in burglaries from um organized groups that are outside this country that are coming into the country um, and they are targeting uh, high-end residents, um, and we are addressing that specifically in a task force fashion through multi-agencies. Lots of these break-ins have been recorded by security cameras in recent years. Detectives tell me many tourist burglars who've been arrested often entered the U.S. through a visa waiver program. Many were visiting from Chile and other South American countries. I'm a supervisory special agent with the Washington Field Office. People who come to the, the LAPD says there have been more than 900 residential burglaries across the city since January. Some of those committed by the tourist burglars who often target luxury homes in the foothills. And some of them may be using new technology to interfere with home security. Just last week, the LAPD's Wilshire station sent out this alert that Wi-Fi jammers had been used to block camera and alarm signals during some recent break-ins. Some sort of device by burglars that actually um, deaden, kill, or stop Wi-Fi from operating. The immediate fix for these home alarm systems is to hardwire them, uh, where you where you put plug those systems directly into your Ethernet in the wall and not use your Wi-Fi internally. Choi says he's not sure if the tourist burglars have been using these devices, but the I-team has learned jammers and drones have been found by officers in Beverly Hills and other nearby cities. Last year, burglars were caught staking out homes in Orange County while wearing a camouflage suit like this, similar to ghillie suits worn by military snipers. And it's not just a California story. Police in Scottsdale, Arizona, announced today the arrests of a trio of suspected residential burglars all in the u.s on the visa waiver program and suspected of being part of a wide-ranging criminal organization these are chilean burglary crews that are coming to the united states on the visa waiver program they have this all right so you heard that there the lapd is forming a special task force because they are saying that there are these gangs and groups that are exploiting the system that allows them to fly right into the country and they are going they're calling it tourist tourist burglary all right tourism burglary they're flying to the u.s robbing these homes they're using signal jammers to jam the cameras and so your cell phone won't work either all right that's one thing they're not saying either and the only thing that could work is if you have a landline or land computer system all right and he was even saying you need to plug it into your ethernet cord right there to be protected so that's what the lapd is warning of they created a special task force say tactical alert from them and they're warning that gangs from peru colombia ecuador and chile and a few other countries are flying into the u.s directly and doing this stuff using jammers using drones and they're targeting the wealthiest homes they can find this is insane this is insane and now we have this warning from the fbi as well they also issued a similar warning that there are people coming across our country coming across our border into our country that are dangerous and that are causing major issues and are a national security threat to our country all right so this is the environment that's being allowed to happen and we are paying for a lot of it we are paying for a lot of it with our tax dollars and facilitating it whether it's directly or indirectly shalom
call hello Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem <coughs> Rakakwadash has given our praise to the most high name of his only begotten son, name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our teachers, the elders and apostles of the great millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And real quick, I want to go into this video speaking about, um, well, you know, this information. You know, this is from the channel Patrick Humphrey. He recently came came up in my feed. I saw other brothers have been doing, you know, uh, videos on him. And um, you know, the guy comes out with some good, some pretty pretty good information. You know, he's um, you know, he he, he and you know he, he brings out a lot of information. In this particular video I was watching this morning, he was going into how they have uh, people coming into this um, country, okay, on tourism visas, and they um, are coming here to rob people, okay, they're coming here to rob, you know, you know, per, you know, predominantly the, the rich, the people, you know, in Beverly Hills and stuff, but it, but this is a new thing, all right, because if you, you know, he said, um, this is the, the FBI's said, uh, that there's um that there's uh these people they have jammers okay and drones to cut your you know your wi-fi off so your cameras don't work you know um uh you know your phones don't work and they can start you know and then they can you know uh, uh break into your house and you know that just go right there to go to show you that um we we coming into a time of great death and destruction. Okay, we definitely coming into a time of great death and destruction, and things are about to get really bad out here. All right, because if they got it, you know, the other people can get it, and I'm pretty sure soon, pretty sure it's probably gonna be a common thing on the street, or people to have you know jammers, you know, that can break, you know, jam your security system or your cameras at your house, you know, and breaking your house, you know, pro pro probably cutting you, you know, or, or shortaging your your, your uh, phone out. And this is why, through the Spirit, the Lord set up the prophets to come out here and warn you of what's to come. Because this is coming, all right? It's about to get very, very ugly out here. Our time works at any time in history, all right? Crime is already increasing with all these migrants here, all right? And now the next thing is going to be burglaries, all right? And when they burglarize these houses, they come in there to, you know, to spoil your houses. So let's grab a few scriptures. It says, um, <coughs> so lock you. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 1 Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So these prophecies are faithful and true. And the Lord says, Speak these words that, that the Lord has put in our mouth of prophecy. Okay? So it's, this, it's, the, it's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that compels us to speak on these things. Okay? Because it's a warning. It says, Because they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, the people that don't believe. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right, so if you don't believe, if you, if you, if you, if you can't get it, if you ain't trying to get with it, guess what? You're going to die in your unfaithfulness. And it may be by somebody kicking in your door, you know. It says, um, and these people are violent, man. All right, they're violent, you know, down here in Florida. So I, 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 I want to do a little video on that, too. But down here in Florida, you have these um, these uh, Haitian gangs, you know, coming trying to come over here on, on, on boats. Ron DeSantis had to pretty much, you know, send, you know, you know, more troops down there at, at, on the borders because, it, you know, you got them Haitian gangs trying to come over here, you know, to Florida now. You know, you can only imagine how much hell that's going to cause. And they've been, you know, uh, in intercepting those boats and they got drugs and guns and um, ammunition on it. Okay, or so they say, but it just goes to show. It says, um, verse five, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death and destruction. You see, so the Lord is doing this. He's going to bring plagues. Okay, diseases, uh, 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 pain and suffering upon the world. It says the sword, which is violence famine lack of food death you know what that is and destruction okay all hell breaking loose man it says for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled right so the hurtful works are fulfilled and now these people are going to be you know um 
pretty much in, in, in a spirit of, you know, total chaos, man. All right. So prepare, you know, and, and get your minds right and get your spirits right. You know, this is the time that we have been waiting for. OK, through the spirit of how about we've been warned about this time that we are about to come into. OK, it says, um, let me jump down. Second, Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands, you know, uh, weapons. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. You're going to be invading houses. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And of course, their actions shall stand in their power. People are going to be doing whatever they see fit. You know? We went into it. So I can't say it. But we went into it last night about how, um, how in Pittsburgh and, and you know, it's going to spread to these, these, these other states and eventually all of America. It's a purge like situation where the cops ain't planning on, 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 on answering any phone calls between particular times. So that's the perfect time for a burglar, you know, to try to break in your house. You know, it says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and houses shall be destroyed. You see, these houses are going to be destroyed. All right. They're going to come in your house, you know, spoil your goods, go on through, all through, through, through your fridge, you know. Touching, you know, your, 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 uh, your, uh, you know, all they're going to be touching all your possessions. OK, it says and men shall be afraid. All right, men. If the men are going to be afraid, how much more the women and the children? Okay. It says, uh, they shall destroy the houses, and men shall be afraid, and men shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, coming your house with weapons, and spoil their goods, spoiling all your shit, taking all your shit, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, so it's going to be Mad Max out here, and this is what what they're telling you. Let's play some more. I as well. They are warning that, quote, dangerous individuals are coming across the southern border. 60 elections around the globe. The FBI concerned about the potential that terrorists and others might try to come through a poor southern border. A whole host of threats that emanate from the border, um, and some of them are criminal. 60 elections around the globe. The FBI concerned about the potential that terrorists and others might try to come through a poor southern border. A whole host of threats that emanate from the border. Um, and some of them are criminal threats. We talked about fentanyl and violence. And then, of course, we have concerns uh, that it could be a vulnerability that uh, terrorist organizations could seek to exploit. And tonight, the bluntness. All right. So you heard that. That was the. And let me say this too. They're looking for, you know, a flag. Okay. Uh, they're looking at they're, they're looking, you know, for a flag, a F flag. You know, so this whole, you know, terrorist thing could be just some, you know, trying to uh you know, set set something up, you know, but you know, at the same time too, it could be, you know, you know, they're different groups trying to come in here and cause harm to America and that's what they want. Okay, that's what they want. They're, you know, they're setting the tempo for what they want. It says second Ezra chapter fifteen verse forty nine. I, I will send plagues upon the widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. And that's what's happening, you know. And it's only going to increase. The Lord is doing this. He's going to send plagues, you know, widowhood. Okay, you, you know, uh, 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 you know, if you ain't got no man in the house. You gonna you gonna be in trouble. Okay, you gonna be in trouble. And if you do got a man in the house, hey, he gonna be the first one to get taken out. Okay, then these people are going to seek to have their way with everybody else in the house. It says poverty, you're going to be broke. Okay. Uh, you got hyperinflation. When this bricks dollar go live, hey, 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 man, that's it. Prices are going to skyrocket. Your rent's going to skyrocket. Everything is going to get unbearable. And eventually we shall be pilgrims. Okay. It says famine, lack of food and bread. Okay. You ain't going to be able to go down the street and, you know, order at a restaurant. Everything is going to be boarded up and shut down. It says a sword and destruction okay uh violence and ultimately so lucky esau coming in with martial law all right and which is going to lead up to thermonuclear annihilation it says with destruction and death so a lot of death and destruction is coming 
All right, and that's why we're supposed to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Okay, we should fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because this is about to get very, very ugly out here. All right, let me go here. And I don't want to make this too long. It says um, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 14. It says, in the NLT, it says, everyone in Babylon will run about like a like a hunted like a hunted gazelle. Like sheep without a shepherd. So the people going to be scattering, you know, going crazy, you know, losing their minds. Okay, it's going to be complete chaos out here. All right. Total disorder. It says they will try to find their own people and flee to their own land. You know, all these people coming here, you know, you know, the people that came here to make money in America. You know, you got people that's been in this country for five, ten, you know, however many years, you know. You got um these communities now. I don't know if it's you know, but down here in the south, for as far as I know, you got these communities down here where, um you know those um Elam, you know those East Indians are coming over here in droves, bro. I'm talking about taking over whole neighborhoods. You know they they all in one neighborhood. And they all know each other. I've seen that. You know I've seen that. I used to do you know landscaping or whatever, and we used to do a particular neighborhood. And it was a it was a prominent. It's always the best. You know the best areas, brand new areas. You know. And they, they come over here with their whole families and families, families. And, you know, they, they inhabit whole neighborhoods. All right. <laughs> so when this time comes, hey, they going to flee back into their own land. It says it. Um, they shall every man turn to his own people and then flee everyone to his own land. And that's the same thing, thing, too. Everybody's going to go to their own people. It ain't going to be no more that's mixing and no, yeah, everybody's love. It's all love. Nah. Okay. <laughs> It's going to be every man for himself. And, you know, if you don't look like self, then you, they're going to be thinking that you're an enemy. So, and these are nations, hey, they definitely stick together. It's Jake that don't. It says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. I'm reading NLT. It says, anyone who is captured will be cut down, run through with a sword. Their little children shall be dashed to d e a t h before their eyes Shalakia. it says their homes will be sacked so they're gonna come in your house you know sack your homes you know uh, uh rummage through all your shit taking all your goods food water you know medicine women you know your wives and your daughters your children okay it's gonna be a shortage of meat out here and they're going to be looking for any bit, bit of meat they can find. And if you got a dog, a little chihuahua or something, you know, or damn, you know, any kind of dog, you know, a cat, any pets, you know. And then eventually when, that, when the pets run out, they're going to go for your children, you know. It says their homes will be sacked and their wives will be ravished. Okay, so they're going to be ravaging these, these, these houses. All right. And, and, and that's the time that we're coming into. All right, it's about to get very ugly out here. And this is why the Lord told our people to repent, to get right, to seek Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, to take this thing seriously, you know, because the time that we're coming into is about to be very ugly. I'm going to grab this right here because, you no, know, this is the this is the time we're in. As we always say, as our beloved Elder Apostle Hart deemed this year, the year of Jacob's trouble, we starting to see these things play out, okay? There is no denying that. There is no denying that. It says, Jeremiah chapter 30 verse <clears throat> I'll get right to the point it says verse 4 in the NLT this is the message the Lord Yahweh gave concerning Israel and Judah which are you so called Negro to Hispanic state of Indians because Esau he got guns he got you know uh, you know how you know you know how they showed you in the purge movies how all the rich people the Edomites you know they had you know the best alarm systems but it was it, it was the poor that, that, that couldn't defend themselves then they were sending in death uh, squads, man. Okay. It says, this is what the Lord says. I hear cries of fear. There is terror and no peace. Now let me ask you a question. Do men give birth to babies? Then why do they stand there, ashen face, hands pressed against their sides like a woman in labor? So you're going to have men out here screaming and losing their minds, you know, like a woman in labor. You never see a, a woman giving birth. You know, she's just screaming and hollering and sweating, you know. 
It says, in all history, there has never been such a time of terror. So in all the history in, 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 you know, in the world, <laughs> since the beginning of time, there's never been such a time that we're about to come into. It says, it will be a time of trouble for my people, Israel, which is you so-called Negro Hispanics, Native Indians. All right. Esau is going to come for you. All right. Now, and only that, you, you're going to be coming for each other. So it's going to be all bad. It says, yet in the end, they will be saved. So the elect, okay, whoever the elect are in the end, they, they shall be saved. Scripture says, he that endured to the end shall be saved. So we got to get, we we going to have to get through this. All right. We're going to have to get through this, man. And that's why Yahweh Shemuel Shah is greatly to be feared, man. All right, let me go here. Um. We come into some times, man, some serious times, and this is why, um, you know, we got to be grateful that the Lord he, he even gave gave us this truth. Here we go. I found it. Thwadi Ho Um, I'm go here. Jeremiah chapter 18. <clears throat> Jeremiah 18 and 21. Alright, let's go to Jeremiah 18 and 21. Maybe I'll close out with this. I don't want to make this too long. Alright. But you get the picture. Okay, you 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 uh see where this is going. Alright, it's about to get very, very ugly out here. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 21. Mm. Let's go, yeah, let me, let's go to verse 20. It says, in the NLT, it says, um, should they repay evil for good? They have dug a pit to kill me, though I pleaded for them. They tried to protect them from my anger. Oh, it's lucky, though I pleaded with them. And try to and try to protect them from my from my from your anger. Let so let their children starve, let them die in the in the, whoa hold up, okay hold up let me get us in the uh, KJV for guideline sakes. All right, the NLT is you know it, it'll start dashing. Yeah, I yeah I can't grab that in the NLT. I'm gonna grab it in the in the KJV. It says um. Verse 21, therefore deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the force of the sword. You know, a lot of, you know, A.U. Jake's going, you know, um, like I said, you know, you, you're going to be you're going to be eating your uh, children. OK, P people going to be eating your damn children. It's going to be bad. It says, therefore, deliver up their children to the famine. Your children going to starve to death. And pour out their blood by the force of the sword. You know, uh, you know, people gonna be getting shot, stabbed. It says, and let their wives be bereaved of their children, and the widows, and it's like, and be widows, and let their men be put to death. And this is what's coming. You know, a lot of these men are gonna die. All right, that's why seven women gonna try to take hold of one man because they're gonna need protection, and ain't gonna be no man left. You know, barely. It says, let their men be put to death and let their young men be slain by the sword in battle you know a lot of people a lot, a lot of your, your sons are going to get drafted all right that's another thing too they're talking about a draft so they're about to send all off your sons and even some of your daughters off you know to to, to war and leave you and leave you here to fend for your damn self it says let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them and they have digged a pit to take me and hit snares for my feet, right? So that's the time coming in too. You have troops, you know, kicking in these doors. And it says, and let a cry be heard from their houses. So you're going to hear, you know, you're going you're gonna to hear people screaming in their houses. You know, you're going to hear cries and screams from houses. When thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them, you see? And them troops going to be in there, you know, having their way too. You know, it says um in the NLT, 
It says, let screaming be heard from their homes as warriors come suddenly upon them, for they have dug a pit for me and have hidden traps along my path. And that's, you know, they, 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 they're going to be doing that, you know, trying to set up the prophets. And they're going to be, you know, going through these average people to trying to find them in the, the prophets. Esau is going to be cutting through people like a hot, like a hot butter, you know, to get what he wants in these last days. This man is about to go buck wild. All right. It shall be like mad men sparing none. So prepare to see some shit in these last times. Hence why it's called Jacob's trouble. But that's the point. I pray it's been edifying. Shalom. Kwame Shirala. Ababa Ball. Double honor to our teachers, the elders and apostles. The great millstone taught us this truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole folk scattered abroad. Shalom.